it can really make or break your paintings if the value contrasts are off. What we tend to do when we feel there is a problem with our artwork, we tend to reach for more colors or add more details. But in my experience, it's often because there is a problem with the value contrasts. When assessing our own artwork, we tend to focus on colors, composition, and also if the painting has a likeness to what we're trying to achieve. And way down on that list, we find value contrasts, which I think is a shame because it is, in my opinion, one of the most important factors of any good painting. So I want to take color out of the equation today, so to speak, and just look at uh, some paintings done in black and white, where we can see the value contrasts very clearly. When I see a landscape in color, I train myself to distinguish between the values and to translate that colors that, that I see into value. And it's not as easy as one might think. So often I practice doing paintings in black and white. These are small paintings of my local landscape. Imagine if the values in this painting were more of the same or closer. It wouldn't be as interesting. Here we have some very, very dark value and some very light value. And here we have some middle values. When the shapes and value contrasts are clear, you can use that to move the viewer's eye around in the composition like this. I use this to create more depth in the painting than were in the original scene. If you imagine sky up here, let me take this paper towel. When the sky up here was very light and bright in value, but it's not as interesting, I think. So I added some darker value and that created instantly more depth and thus making the sky seem to recede. This other one, we have a few flowers here in front and they're very light in value. Set against the very dark area, it makes the flowers seem to come forward. Here are a few more, some wild flowers growing along a country road. And the fields and rolling hills with patches of distant trees and forests. These are some of my favorite places and I love to play around with changing the values to get my vision across and to emphasize what is important to me in a particular painting. And now it's your turn. Try looking at some photos in color and translate them into black and white paintings using just very dark, very light and medium value. Another tip I want to give you if you're painting in colors, have your smartphone and take a photo of your artwork and change it into black and white. That is a really quick and effective way to see the values in your paintings. What happens sometimes when I'm painting, if I'm overworking my painting, um, most of the colors will end up in the middle range. So I use the tip with the black and white photo a lot and then I can see where I need to lighten some areas and perhaps also darken other areas. If you are looking for more ways to loosen up and improve your artwork, I made a free guide that you can download. I'll put a link below the video here where you can find it. It has five proven ways to loosen up your painting style and one of the things I mention in the guide is all about values. So check out the guide and thank you very much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. See you in the next one.